Hey guys, Pan1979 here. Uh, gonna bring to you guys today a quick test on the GoLabs R300. So, uh, one viewer said that if I could run a test while the power was low and I was running a load on the uh, AC inverter on the 12 volt to see if it was regulated. So, let's see right now. So, I got my multimeter right here so you guys can see that. I have a hair dryer that is on the uh, fan setting only so when I plug this in this is gonna start because I can't run it through the uh, through the heating element otherwise it's gonna overload so guys I am just gonna plug this in real quick I'm just gonna place that on the side and I'm gonna run the test I'm not gonna talk because this is gonna produce a lot of noise guys so I'm just gonna place that let's say right here so you guys will hear that starting so I'm just gonna plug this in right here is gonna start automatically you can see the power uh, the uh, battery is at 29 percent so right now I have 12 hours but that that's rel that's irrelevant because it uh, it readjusts itself uh, as soon as there's a load on so try to give you uh, some current estimates so on how how much time you have remaining powering that item so all right guys, so I'm gonna plug this in. I'm gonna test the 12 volt DC. So uh, note guys that when I plug this in, this is gonna be uh, around 175 watts for the power on the AC uh, inverter. After that, when I power on the DC, it's gonna add 10 watts. And after that, I'm gonna measure it. So hopefully you guys will see that in the multimeter. What is the voltage? And you guys will see how much load it runs uh, it's going to be at about 185 watts. So here we go, guys. Hundred and seventy-seven. I'm going to power on the DC. Hundred and eighty-seven, eighty-five. Now let's measure, guys. Whoops. Bye, right, guys. Let's measure that real quick. Twelve volts. All right, one more time, guys. So just letting it run a little bit. Twenty-eight percent. Now, if you guys can tell right there, twenty-eight percent. All right, I'm gonna put this back on and let's see. Twelve point fifty-one, guys. Let's give it a little bit more time. Sorry guys if you hear the wind noise. That's the hair dryer, so. Alright guys, one more time for good measure. So twelve forty nine. Alright guys, so we saw that this thing is above 12 volts, so it's at 1249, and was it 50? Uh, when I ran that power guys, all the way up to, uh, to 100%, I did a little test on the multimeter. Let me bring that back out. So ran a little test on the multimeter guys, and uh, when I was at 100%, all the way up to 30%, it stays at 12 Point fifty four volts all the way down to 30% now it's starting to dip a little bit since the power but it is still above 12 volts it, it's you know well above 12 volts guys so you guys tell me if this is regulated or not so regulated some people say it's gonna go down until you know it's there's no more power so it's gonna go up to zero percent and still have but you know at 30% uh, 27% and this thing is still going strong so let me see if I place it back I'm just gonna measure the current one more time guys real quick if I don't lose my stuff here got so many wires in the way so let me place that back here and now let's just power on the DC again now the USB is powered on so all right guys so you guys can see the current so without any load let me see how it is. So it's at 12.94. So 
guys even under load it's still at 12 uh, above 12 point or close to 12.5 so plenty to run your CPAP so I had some commentaries on people running CPAP machines on this and it was working perfectly they had a solar panel and they could run that recharge it and didn't have to worry about it so uh, next phase of testing guys it's going to be discharging the through the 12 volt port to see to measure to measure the capacity on this total capacity i've did that test measuring to the ac it gave me 250 milliamp hour uh, well an amp hour so 250 amp hour which is uh pretty good guys uh, considering that there is a, a power loss in the conversion uh, right here so 1250 so i'm guessing this is going to be close to 299 or even above so if i do the 12 volt so i have received something from banggood to be able to run that test all i need is to buy myself a 12 volt adapter so that i can wire the wire directly into that machine and j just doing a little bit of uh, of work on that so still have to order this part and still have to order a solar panel to do some solar panel testing more videos to come in the future guys uh as soon as you know i'm gonna keep testing this i'm gonna keep running it i'm gonna keep using it so you guys will know in the long term as well how this thing holds up uh, but guys uh, lithium iron phosphate so uh, uh, lipo fate batteries leaf leaf apo batteries guys don't know how you pronounce that but these are the best types of batteries for solar generators you can get a way better runtime than lithium ion so this th these are going to last you way longer this thing i can have for the next 10 years if the electronics are good if there's not any moisture that gets in there or anything it's gonna run forever guys so I'm going to charge this back up and I'm going to I'm going to see to run more tests in the future on it guys. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated. I catch you guys on the next one.